In today's video, I would like to share with you how I approach drawing templates. Now I'm working from a civil engineering standpoint, so the templates that I create are going to be specific to that field. But if you are or are not in civil engineering, maybe you'll get something out of this video. Let's dive in. Let's go into the topo template. So I'd like to share with you what I include in my standard drawing templates. The following items are probably pretty universal to most people. You can see I have the standard text styles, standard dimension styles, standard leader styles incorporated into this template. Now, what I think might be a little bit different depending on how you use these templates, I only include the layers that are specific to the type of drawing that I want to create. So for instance, if I'm going to use the topo template to create a topographic base drawing, I only want to see the layers that are specific to that topo drawing. I don't include proposed site layers. I don't include proposed utility layers. Let's go ahead and pop into the layer manager real quick. Um, you can see that in addition to the layers, I also include layer filters. This is a real easy way to sift through your layers quickly. Okay, let's close this layer manager. Okay, the other thing that I like to include in my standard templates is the annotation scales. I'm a big believer in the annotative scales for text annotation objects. Um, so I like to have these ready for me when I'm, when I'm starting on a drawing. And the last but not least, what I like to include in these drawing templates is I like to include the um, page setups. So if I go into the print dialog box, I've preloaded a number of different page setups. I have 11 by 17 PDF, 24 by 36 PDF, 30 by 42 PDF, and eight and a half by 11 PDF. Obviously you can go through and set up all the standard page setups that you typically use. It's really nice to have these set up because you can, you know, you have them ready for you when you need to print. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at the site template. And once again, I've only included the layers that are specific to a site drawing. You can see we have the standard text styles, dimension styles, leader styles, um, the standard annotative scales, and the page setups. The other thing I should mention is it's really nice to have the lines in the drawing ready to go because you can use these to match properties or you can select one of these lines and make this the current layer if you're working on that object. The other thing you can see is I have the various hatches ready to go. If say I want to, I want to hatch a proposed concrete area, I can go ahead and hatch it and use the match properties to set it to my standard. The other thing I should mention is I do not include blocks in my drawing templates. I prefer to insert the blocks using the tool palette. If you put the blocks in the tool palette, they're right at your fingertips and you don't have to deal with a whole bunch of blocks in your drawing that you're not using. That's it for this video. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified as new videos become available. You can visit my website. It's www.elephant-eng.com. On that website, I have a number of blocks available for sale. They're, they're time-saving dynamic blocks. Thanks for watching and take care.